Welcome from France, Loire Valley, second weekend of July 2019. Windy weather, as you can hear probably. Very few clouds and lots of turbulence. It's my first time in France. And I like what I see here. So this is one large open field enclosed by trees all around and it's actually organized in a letter L shape so it allows you to fly in any kind of wind. So we are now looking to the north and then behind those trees in the camp there's another open stretch that allows you to fly in an east-west direction. So the whole place is well organized. One quarter of it is a camp, a really large area with a few trees that provide enough shade and the rest the three quarters are open to fl for flying. This place is situated about two kilometers from the nearest village and it certainly gives the impression that you could easily fly even pulse jets here and nobody would complain about noise. It's literally in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by fields on all sides. So, really cool place. Organization here is perfect. Very nice visible LED clocks on both sides of the corridor. And the lady talking is even calling each group up by names twice. Once while the previous group, group is still in the air and the second time when the group has landed. So this is really cool. The whole thing allows for a really relaxed competition. You don't really need to follow which group is now flying because this is announced each time. And this really creates a relaxed environment really enjoyable, something I've been missing in the past competitions. So the other aspect that makes this really a uh, relaxed competition uh, is the fact that very few really competitive pilots are here. For example, I was flying my usual style yesterday, ended up with something like 97% of the points which would place me somewhere in the middle in the competitions I usually attend but here I somehow ended in the top five places and had to actually work hard to get out of flyoffs so I can make this video now okay I did make two proper mistakes on the last flight yesterday and the first flight this morning but with that I still ended up on the 12th place and there are 14 pilots going to fly off so I had to take some radical measures and really go for the zero or hero type of flight on my last start which luckily ended in zero as, ex as I expected We have wind at 6 meters per second, gusting much more, and I feel that's all thermal driven, so I don't really expect the pilots to, to start low, but for sure they will get blown downwind and will have a challenge to return. So I 
placed myself in shadow uh, at the hut here, at the runway in front of me. And I expect pilots to start a bit upwind and then turn left and right, follow the tree line maybe or the trees over the camp, and find the thermal there. Let's see. Some people going right immediately to the east. That's one going west. No, also turning to the east. So mostly everyone is going high and over that trees to the east as I expected. And then it's just a question: who is who dares to go far downwind and is still able to come back? So let's focus on the group here. First let me switch to manual focus. Because there's really nothing for the camera to focus on. It's just a blue sky with a speck of cloud here and there. They're moving down with so fast. Follow them. to come back and if he will be able to come back
you've probably heard the 10 minute call so this means that you have to do an exercise like this at least three times Where is he now? I lost him. No idea. But I see another one. Above me, nice and high. I will make it till the end, no problem. Anyone else is in interesting position?
I guess. One more looking upwind. This is where I was standing before. Now I found a, a bit more quiet corner in the bushes on the edge. Less wind, but probably more noise in the trees above me and behind me.
nine seconds. Again, I have a dilemma whom to follow. But let's try the guy who went down. if I'll be able to because he will cross the tree line and now I have no one to fall on maybe a few planes upwind because everything is now happening on the other side of the tree line nothing much here so I can see where the shadows are flying across the ground and there are actually most of the planes are now downwind so I didn't see them on the other side of the bushes now they're all trying their luck over there doesn't look too good, frankly. This guy is dropping fast. Okay, maybe now. Definitely doesn't look too good. We will have to work hard. I 
Under ten minutes to go. Finally got something. Now the trees behind me are making a noise, I guess that's good news for him. I guess he'll be able to make some height now. say he definitely made it. It's nice to have a puff of cloud there as a reference. To get a feeling whether this plane is climbing or not. What is this? Someone started only now.
very difficult to fall in planes in the blue sky. Now I think I lost him. to follow. Anyway, it's about four minutes of flying still to do, so the guys are now coming back. Not sure if he'll be able to do two minutes. He went for a safe choice. And One and a half minute to go, as you can see. Okay, now only third flight remains.
like rotors only come here to the ground infrequently. So again, planes spread all over the sky. Upwind, downwind. But for sure everyone behind the this tree line. There's a strong gust of wind here as well. Could be that the wind has changed direction a bit. And now we have some planes upwind. I see at least three. Upwind again. Looks like he got something. Looks like he doesn't really want to get blown downwind too far. I guess he also doesn't really enjoy the stressful flying in the distance. On the other side I see people walking down the field. Following their models. I don't even see any. I must really be far downwind already. With a blue background and no clouds, it's a 
challenge to follow your plane you really have to pay attention and any smallest disturbance can make you lose your model visually and then you're a bit of a flying blind until you regain your visual contact so it's good to make a turn in that kind of situation so you expose the upper or lower wing surface making your plane more visible terminology and do you know why so it's originated back in the first world war when US uh, wanted to join the war they had no aviation and they got their first planes from French and also their uh, pilot training and with that was the terminology so that's why you have words like fuselage, empennage and similar in the aviation terminology today. It spread from France to US and from there all over the world. they can get something at this low height that will give them the remaining minutes of flying what does it look like? One down, one to follow soon. No luck for these two guys. It looks like no one else really has problem. They are all far away and high. Five minutes still of flying to do.
थ्री डाउन idea where this guy came from but he'll also have a hard time make a full flight didn't even make it to the point One minute to go. Nicely done. So now I'll skip the results and the prize giving ceremony since I have about 10 hours of driving to do and I hope I reach home before 2 a.m. Thank you for watching.